Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at this derivative, the derivative of a to the x instead of e to the x. Now remember, e was a natural number, a is just any constant, a can be any other number. What is the difference between the two? Well, what we can do here is use a particular trick. What we're going to do is we're going to let y equal a to the x. So we'll turn it into a function where x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. Now we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So if y is equal to a to the x, then the natural log of y equals the natural log of a to the x. So we can do that. So the natural log of y must therefore equal to the natural log of a to the x. And then using the rules of logarithms, we can move the x in front, and we can write this as the natural log of y is equal to x times the natural log of a. <clears throat> now, I can take the d dx, the derivative with respect to x of both sides of the equation. So now we're going to do an implicit differentiation. So we take the d dx of the left side, which is the natural log of y, and set it equal to the d dx of the right side, which is equal to x times the natural log of a. Now on the left side, we have the natural log, so we use the natural log rules. We take 1 over y, and then we multiply that times the derivative of y with respect to x, so we write dy dx. And after all, that is what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the derivative of y with respect to x, which is the same as the derivative of a to the x. On the right side, we have x times the natural log of a, but that's a constant, so it's simply the d dx of x, which is 1, times the constant, so this becomes times the natural log of a. Now, if we cross-multiply the y to the other side, let's go ahead and do that over here. Let's continue on this side, because I need this side of the board to make some sort of conclusion. So then we can say that dy dx, so starting here, dy dx, is going to be equal to y, when we multiply it here, y, times the natural log of a. <clears throat> so the derivative, so that means that the, since dy dx is the derivative of a y, which should equal the derivative of a to the x, so now we can say that the d dx of a to the x is equal to y, but y is equal to a to the x, so I can go ahead and write that, a to the x, times the natural log of a. And so this now shows that if we take the derivative of a to the x instead of e to the x, remember, when we take the derivative of e to the x, we get e to the x. But if we take the derivative of a to the x, that's equal to a to the x times the natural log of a. So drawing that conclusion now, we can say the following that d dx, the derivative with respect to x, of e to the x, that's equal to e to the x. But the derivative, the d dx, of a to the x, where a is just any other constant, that's equal to a to the x times the natural log of a. And so now you can see the difference between taking the derivative of either the natural exponent function, e to the x, or any other exponential function, a to the x. And that's how it's done.